and welcome back to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World The Game! Where the game has updated. Long overdue, it has been a while since something's kind of happened, I feel anyway, in Jurassic World Life. And the reason why I have not made a video on Jurassic World Alive will become abundantly clear when you look at my username. I have had to change my username. F's in the chat. I don't know what happened, but for some reason, when I had logged in a, a month or so ago, uh, it started, it was saying, your name goes against community guidelines. What? So take that as you will. I don't know. Maybe Ludi has something against me. Out there trying to censor me. I, <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway, I had to change my name. I'll, I'll, if I've got a screenshot of it, I'll put it up. Let me just dart the early Cassaurus. So, the new update has dropped. And a few things right off the bat. Um, there are good changes, I've noticed. And I, I mean, it's it's literally just dropped. The update um, was today, I think. Uh, but if you're opening an incubator, you can basically click through loads of the uh, dinosaur cards, like, so quick. You can just be like, bum, 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 done. And it's over and done with, and you don't have to, like, sit there and wait. Like, I could have clicked that even before it came up to just skip over it, which is so good. Like, if we spin one of these supply drops, instead of waiting for things, I can literally just click it as fast as possible. Bum, 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 done. So good. It just makes me think about all the other things in the game that take ages. So for instance, like comparing this to Pokemon Go, uh, there's a there's an exploit in that game where I'm pretty sure the Niantic, the developers of the game, know about it, where you can click on a Pokemon, uh, throw a Pokeball, and do a certain glitch, and then instantly come out, and it'll catch the Pokemon, or it won't catch the Pokemon. So if there's loads around, you can go like basically catch, catch, catch. You can do it so quick. However, and that's me playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> but in this game, the thing is, no matter what you have, no matter what dinosaur, a legendary, a unique, a common that you dart, it takes always the same amount of time. And when it comes to something like Eupocephalus, where you need thousands of DNA to use it, to level it up, to fuse it into this sort of thing, it's just not good enough. Like, it needs to be quicker. And I understand it take, you know, maybe take that amount of time when it comes to darting a legendary or darting a unique. But when it comes to darting a common, like, after a certain level, if you've leveled up, I feel like it should be quicker. I, I don't know the exact best way to go about it. But anyway, the big news is this, the Theropods Pass. So, they have added two new unique dinosaurs into the game. One being the new Ceratosaurus, a long overdue dinosaur that has been in Jurassic World the game way before Jurassic World Live, and it's finally here. But the weirdest thing is, it's a unique. It isn't a hybrid, and for some reason, it's unique. I don't know why. I don't know why it's unique, but they've decided, like I said, for some reason, we'll make it a unique. And I think the reason why they made it unique is because... Nowadays, the unique creatures have extra upgradable things that you can do to them that make them really good. So if they want to make new, better dinosaurs that aren't apexes, that don't need to be raided or whatever you have, they're making it into that. Uh, there's also another one. It's the Dracovenator is another dinosaur. Now, what's good about these two, I'm pretty sure, is that you can walk around the real world and encounter them. And supposedly, apart from going into the marketplace and, of course, buying it outright, because there it is, uh, you can literally, the only other way is to walk around and encounter it. So you have to have your, you know, like you would in Pokemon Go, walk around with the app open and wait for one to spawn. Now, there's already been YouTube videos uh, that I've seen of people encountering the Dracovenade. I'm pretty sure Ceratosaurus is exactly the same. So that's really good. Uh, and more, more stuff like that is going to get people to actually, you know, play the game more. Like, the way I see or I've been playing this game is literally as I'm doing right now. Sat down, just doing a thing. You know, doing battles, doing whatever. The only problem with having the game being portable again is that it drains your battery so quick because the graphics are so demanding um, and it takes ages to load. You know, I, it probably takes about two to five, well, two to three minutes, I would say, to load up Jurassic World alive from nothing. 
that's not quick enough. <laughs> or at least it, it depends on your device, I'm sure. Um, so what I will do is go into missions. We'll quickly collect everything. Yes, look at that. So instead of Alasaur Gen 2, it was, um, we now have Blue. They just throw the, the epics at us, I think. They are epics, aren't they? Not, it's not Jurassic World, the game where they are legend out. I don't know. Anyway, there has been very many good ones recently, or at least Alasaur Gen 2, depending on how where you are in the game. I suppose it could be seen as good. And we'll collect that to get to level, uh, streak level 45. I always forget about that, but streak level does determine what DNA you get, and you can no longer get over 100 DNA. You used to be able to. I'm pretty sure I got like 110 DNA of something, but they capped that. So basically, the only level that you can get 100 epic DNA on is 45. You miss a single day, you drop down to 90. That's so punishing. <laughs> like, out of 45 levels, drop one, you lose 10. 10% and I, it's one level. Come on, at least make level 40. Come on, guys. Anyway, it's, it's, it's brutal. It is really, really brutal. We've also got this. Yes. So now, if we go in here, we're up to level 5. But, and I don't normally do this, I was actually about to... Um, by the other season pass just before it clocked over but uh then the game had to update and by the time the game updated and i just came back in i couldn't get anymore and i realized that because it had an emote which was like frog spawn and i was like that is so weird like what do you you know emojis need to do certain things right you emote right that when you're doing a battle or whatever you send an emoji what does frog spawn even mean <laughs> It's, it was literally just frog spawn just going, it's just swirling around. Not, like, the, the eggs itself didn't move, just the little embryo inside moved. It's like, I kind of want that. I just want to be like, you know, what do you even say to that? Someone's like laughing, crying emoji. You're like, hey, you just send that. They go, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> anyway, I didn't get it. Unfortunate. Uh, but I will do the final reward. I'll do the, what is it? The ultimate premium 40 quid. Oh my God. Like I said, I have not spent money on this game. It's crossed my heart. Hope I have not spent money on this game since that Rexy incident we had such a long time ago because that was ridiculous. Um, but this one, you know, I'm using it for uh, content. Yeah, I'll make the money back. It's fine. Business expense is all right. Anyway, we'll be right back when we unlock Ceratosaurus. Did you see how good it is? Hey, okay. Now we're good. Hopefully I didn't pay that twice. Hey. <laughs> anyway. Oh my God, I need that coin. And look, see, there's no like, as another one comes up, you literally click it. It's there. Boom. Fast. Love it. Good responses. I, I understand anything higher than Epic because, you know, you want to see what you get. Um... I really don't need that one, Dilorhinus. Um, don't really need the Dilokairus, but it's always good to have that because now you need it. And finally, not even friggin' unlocked a Ceratosaurus. <laughs> good God. Fierce and resilient. Interesting. As well as 224, as well as unlocking the left side. So we should, there it is. There's the 50. And boom, now we have it completely unlocked. I thought I needed to unlock it. Ah, right, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is, Ceratosaurus. So it doesn't have a unique animation. We are about to find out. Uh, no, that is the T-Rex animation. Great. I, I noticed that its description was like slightly smaller than the T-Rex. What do you mean slightly smaller than the T-Rex? It was way smaller than a T-Rex. <laughs> anyway, so interesting things about this is it has a piercing headbutt so i think this is on the swap in you attack do your normal damage you bypass armor and dodge which is beautiful and you increase your armor by 10 percent you increase your damage output by 10 percent so pretty much you want to swap this thing in also nothing can escape from it or at least you know unless they have resistance they it ignores stun always good rend is a good one like the amount of damage it can reduce 75 percent really good uh, speed completely immune to and also its own armor. Does it even have armor? Oh, it has 10% armor. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's a shame they give it the T-Rex animation. I mean, its head is basically a T-Rex. It'd be great if if they actually made the model more like Ceratosaurus, because you know that there's the rig for the T-Rex. And then they've just fit this guy on the rig. So all its animations are, are pretty much similar. 
uh, which is a bit of a bugger. But it has resilient rampage, which is great because it removes cloak. Um, so it's great. This thing's going to be great for swapping things into uh, cloaky buggers. Uh, Lacerate as well to do some bleed. It's got its own priority, which... What does it do? Reduce speed 50% for the opponent. And then you cleanse yourself. You give yourself armor as well. Oh, and you increase your damage. Oh, so 25% armor and damage and reduce their speed. Very interesting. I'd love to see what that could do. But for its normal attack, you know, goes through armor. Uh, cleanse reduced damage. Goes through uh, a dodge as well. It's a pretty solid choice. So not only have we got that, we've also completed this. And again, since I didn't do any pay to win uh, since, I have not gone into Nublar Shores again. It's, it's brilliant. Love it. So 4,000 out of that. Uh, we'll see what we get here. Uh, I already own... Uh, oh, but baby, but... Hey, I see what they did there. <laughs> and a Titana Boa season. A dinosaur that I don't really think has much uh, going for. I guess we could switch. We'll modify the camera. Let's see. Oh, that's cool how they all do their things. Uh, interesting that they just took the bear. Changed the skin, but kept the uh, the elements. Oh, another 50. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, halfway to level 22. Can't wait to see all the peeps get this thing leveled up. Hey, all of those Apex peoples. You, yay. Do we have an event? Oh, he has an Isla event. Oh, look at that. Thoropods has begun. That's English for you. Your opponent's level are scaled to match your eligible creature stat at the event start. Create and evolve eligible creatures. Now to push them above the level your opponents were at. Okay, cool. Uh, what does this do? Level 26. But reward, what have we got? 6, 6, 6, 10, 10, 10, uh, 21, 21, and 50. Ooh, I like it. Okay, but what are my roster to choose from? I'm assuming, is Ceratosaurus even one? No, Ceratosaurus isn't. Right, okay, very interesting. Now, my Tura Moloch is only level 29. You know what it is, you know what it is. For this event, let's get Tura Moloch up to level 30. The reason why I'm saying that, depending on what it takes, Tujongosaurus. 20 times? Let's see. Oh, oh, 70, 60, and a 50. Are we level 30? Oh, we are so close. Right, we, we need a couple more fuses here. I used all my parasol DNA. <laughs> Yo. Oh, wait, maybe we can get a lucky 30. Wow. <laughs> Color me impressed. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Wait, uh, uh. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't have enough coin. <laughs> oh, well, because I would have got level 30, then I would have tried to get it the extra boost for 10% extra uh, health. But that's okay. I think for taking these guys on, um, this guy is probably going to be pretty decent. Tura Morlock uh, will add to team is also going to be pretty decent. Uh, then I'll put those two on. I guess, I guess that'll do. This is going to be a tough one. Isla event. Ooh, they even gave it an icon. Sweet. Right, let's do Tura Moloch. Yes. Against the little piggy. Now we're looking for things that we can heal at the end of the battle. So I'll get... Ooh. Yeah, sure. I guess. Why not? Nothing spoiling. Now, normally they put in something good that can heal into these events. Because they know... These are tough. Very, very tough. Uh, is there anything that he can do? He can do a Mutual Fury, or he could swap. Okay. Does Dino Kairos actually have a, the passive ability that uh, Dino Rikus, or whatever it's called, the Dilo whatever. Okay, never mind. It's dead. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is nice. Nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, another hit. Boom! And then we've... Oh, is it immune to slowing down? Oh, it is. Oh, Dilophosaur's turn. Dilophosaur's turn to get the little bit of his baby smack. There you go. Um, we'll do another one. I'll reduce it again. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I do, however, want to just heal up as much as I can. For level 29, only having 
4,800 health seems so low, man. So low. Right, who's going to do the least amount of damage? Ah, uh, I feel as though... I mean, if he goes for Mutual Fury, that's really good for me. I'm going to go for a normal heal. If it does, okay. But if it doesn't, which it doesn't there, okay. I'll go for my majority heal now. And then, I mean, hopefully it goes for Mutual Fury. I hope it does, because I've got my priority anyway. Oh, okay. Well, a thousand damage is the most we're going to take from this one. I'm not used to... I mean, when you play with, you know, level 30 creatures, max boosts, even the new God knows whatever that thing is they've got now. Um, what even is that called? Like the one, you know, 10% extra attack, 10% extra health, that one, whatever that is. Yeah, when they've got all this stuff on, you go back to vanilla sort of dinos with no boosts, it's... Oh, oh, it is not so good. <laughs> Ceratosaurus, Ceratobato, Bruton. Okay, level one, done. Level two, a little bit harder, because these guys, yeah, they're, they're meant... Oh, no, 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 ah, ah, damn it. I meant to, green is the accept, right? Green's normally accept. But here it's like, no, no, no. Okay, so, I mean, even the, um, what's that? It's that hybrid. I never use it. The, um, micro, whatever it is, that thing. That's interesting. Never, I've even got a skin for it, but I've never used it. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, what could he do here? Shielded attacks. Okay. All right. Oh, a crit. Oh, it... Okay. Okay, he has that counter. Now, I'm expecting a switch here. So, I'm just going to go for heal. Oh, no, a group shield. Oh, damn. That's dangerous. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is with that passive. So, a bit worried about that. I mean, worst he can do is 2,000. Yep, yeah, I'll, do, I'll do a normal hit here. He'll do his counter. I don't think anything swaps in to do damage. Really, we do not want to use to lose Terra Moloch here. And of course, with a 5% crit chance, it goes for it. Right, so we can predict that they're probably going to go for a swap if they're below half health for the first time. So we'll get loads of uh, attack there. Uh, a bit worried about this guy, but again, the most damage it can do is 2,700. Ooh, okay. 20% chance for a crit. That would kill me if it did it. Um, Aglos Lux would have been best here. Yeah, let's just cross our fingers and hope we don't get a don't get critted here. Um, oh god, that oh god, that that, that is. Um, now we need to do our priority. Oh, oh, oh! That god, nothing so with, with the attack. There. This guy is priority though. We need to watch out for him. Uh, so that's a lot of he healing going on. Uh, it does not have the counter. Uh, probably should have went for just the passive heal. Probably should have done that. I'll go with the swap. I can't remember what this guy does. Oh, it's a oh, it's a normal, and then a ren for a counter. This thing at level thirty with boosts and everything. This is the guy you need. That and Tura Moloch, you're sorted. Oh, he went for a normal one. Okay, but you can... Oh, but the counter. Oh, it doesn't kill him. Uh, I guess I could go for my own priority. Just in case. Hopefully it doesn't... It, it, it definitely hasn't swapped, so... Let's see. Oh, thank God. Okay, I don't think there's a chance of it all... Yeah, I didn't think it would go all the way through. There's the counter. Next turn, go for a massive uh, bite on Lithornax. Hopefully it swaps even now. So I can get this. Okay, well, we'll get some health back. We'll get some health back. I don't know if we've got... Okay, three... This thing's kind of really good. <laughs> just some healies. Flip. A, li a little bit of healy. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We may as well just kill him. And that was not really a good turn for me. Um... Yeah, everything lost health and nothing gained health. But we haven't really gained health since, you know, starting this. Hopefully this will make turn around at level three. Carnotaurus with the counter. 
Uh, a Margasaur, I'm not too worried about. Um, you know what? I'm going to put in Turmolok first. Um, Ankylos Lux might be a really... Yeah, what if, what's this guy? Philos Intrepidus, because it's Morris Intrepidus normally. Now, the Giga is one of those creatures where... When it swaps in, if it's threatened, it heals all of its health, but it also heals the opponent. Which could be interesting. Um, really, we need to keep um, Turamolok alive for the raid battle, when it's one versus everything. That's what we need it for. Um, but here, I think we're safe. Nothing has priority, so if I put Turamolok out first, go for my priority heal. And then maybe next turn go for regular heal. We're all the way up. Uh, oh, yeah, we're done. Okay, that's good. Because, you know, we can use Turmolok for the raid battle, and then we can heal everybody. So you, you've got you to think smart. Think smart, not hard. Or, or whatever. Uh, something like that, I think. Uh. <laughs> okay, we, we definitely need to heal ourselves. Right, I don't know if we have a counter or resist. Sorry, I don't know if we resist the rend for we don't. That rend's dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm going to go for my own Ankylos Lux here. Because I know with a counter, I'm going to do about 2,000 damage. Oh, I think it's immune to stun. Oh, it's not. Okay, okay. Now, does Rend destroy shield? Yes, it greater. Okay. Oh, my God. I forgot what a powerhouse Ankylos Lux is. <laughs> Three thousand. Of course, it takes into all the boosts. Okay. Right, you've swapped it in. Okay, okay. So, we've definitely gained some health. On our Turamolok, which is good, which is good. Um, we could go for Rampage and Run here. Just to, you know, just to get something off, I suppose. Oh, you're, you're swapping. You're swapping again. Okay. Please be Carnotaurus. It's probably going to be a Mog. It's Carnotaurus. Well, it's dead and we're still in. Oh, never mind. Of course. Of course. Why, why did that not kill it? When the, Oh, and it gets a crit on 5%. Why did that... How much? 3,800. Oh, did the other one go through block or something? I, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, we're getting, we're getting our invincibility. <laughs> I'll sit back. Sit back. Stay hydrated, guys. It's very important. Right. Okay, it doesn't matter if it swaps it in again. Can he tempt it to swap into a ruler? Should we? I feel like we're good. I feel like we'll go for it, just in case it swaps in the Carnotaurus again. Ah, a Margasaur. Interesting. Now, you don't have a counter. You do slow, however. So, I'm tempted. Go for a hit. Then priority heal. And maybe get out of there. Okay, that's... That doesn't slow me down. It does make me vulnerable. So I will go for a regular heal just to get rid of that. Uh, take me almost to full health. Here comes the slowing impact. That's all right. 1,600. Uh, that's the most... Oh. Wow, I'm immune to it anyway. And uh, the most amount of damage you can do is that. So maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. Oh, we don't kill it in one more. Okay, okay. I can cycle this. I can cycle this. So there's the one I, I don't like that one. That's the vulnerability. We do this. We gain all that health now. And the slowing, of course, we're immune to it. Uh, we take that hit. I'll do another hit now. So we'll do this one. Next turn, heal. And then turn after that, priority heal? Just because I, I don't want to be hit by... I don't want this resilient. Uh, sorry, the vulnerability. I don't want that. So we'll go for the priority here. Trying to think which one's which one do I not want to be hit by? Carnotaurus or the Rhino? Right, the Rhino has that amazing attack that does a lot of damage. I feel like Carnotaurus doesn't. I'll go for a heal here. Yeah, I yeah, I'll go for that. That's fine with me. Go for that heal. Get all that health. Oh, he didn't even go for it! Oh, fantastic! Brilliant! <laughs> Let's go for the priority. Kill it! So Ankylosaurus or Ankylos Lux took a hit. But we traded it for a lot of health on Turamolok. And we can just easily just go for a regular hit. How much would he have done? Yeah, 2,000. 1,600 for Conotaurus or 2,000 from that Rhino. 
And here it's like, it's, it's sort of meet up. It's, it's kind of okay. I mean, really, we're, we're, we just want as many or as much Ceratosaur DNA as we can get. And finally, on to four. There's only 10 of these. So is this the boss? This is not the boss. Okay. It is not the mama. All right, let's go. We're gonna, I'm going to keep Toro Morlock. I, I don't know about these guys. I don't know if a priority hit, the cunning rampage, could be very, very um, dangerous with that thing. And Claw Morlock. we put that in. We'll put those other two in just in case. But kind of tempted just to have, try Urla Dominus. And then whatever's got the worst health, I think the next one will be a raid boss. And then we can heal everything. Heal Ankylos Lux. Heal whatever... Um, Earla Dominus is going to take. Ooh, if we got a crit, 50% chance we get a crit here. Let's go for it. Oh, we increase our attack anyway? Ooh. Crit? Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, now, ooh, well, we, we kind of have to go for this one, unfortunately. Then the next one, he does have a priority, so he could do more damage to us before we get our um, own cloak, but I think cloak's priority anyway. Uh, and we can kill him in one hit. So, oh, I can't touch him. Very good, very good. Wow. Do I even have boosts on it? I feel like I just never took them off. Maybe I do. So that's 10. Oh, come on, we can get level 21. Come on, surely. Surely we can get level 21. Okay, so here it is. This is the raid one. Still not a raid. Interesting, but it's the first one that has a swap in damage. Um, Earla Dominus, I think, has a resistance to rend 50%. So I'm tempted to put you in. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. If we can get something weak and get a cloak off and... I feel like the cloak in this circumstance is probably going to be the best option. Oh, start with the Draco. Okay, okay. Okay, can we get a crit? 50% chance. Come on. Crit. No, that's not good. Does that have a priority? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Now, chances are it's going to switch. So I'm just going to go for my regular hit. Oh, it has a counter. Does it do damage or does, does it just affect? Uh, oh, no, it does do damage. I think I'm immune to it, though. I think I'm immune to this. Oh, I'm resistant, but not... Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay, let's just get our... Uh... Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Um I mean we are we still faster? Does it have anything else? It has a lesser. Chances are he could switch to Draco. Doesn't switch to Draco. Okay, okay. Will it though, or is it just gonna put in Erlico Gamma? Right, I'm just gonna go for my Yeah, I'm just gonna go for that one. Does it even? Doesn't even go for the switch when, you know, the bot should know. Just, just do as much damage as possible. Fair enough. Fair, I'll take it. Give me the free DNA. I love it. I'd like these events to be more frequent, but also at the same time, it's Ludia or Jam City. I don't know who to blame, but they don't want to give us good things for free. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a taste. 88 now. On to number six. Okay, this one might be the raid boss. No. Okay, but that thing, the Priosuchus, is very uh, worrying because that has a priority. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Does Anglos Lux hit everything? Target highest, target fastest. No, it doesn't. But I mean, with the counter, it may as well. Morris Intrepidus goes through the armor, so it. it, it it's very good against it. Um, this one's a tricky one. Very tricky. Because we also have this guy, and I never use this guy. But I don't know if I should start with... Uh, you know what? I'll put him in, just because why not? <laughs> uh, I'll put a new... Put a new... It's the best team I think I can do. I don't mind losing one of these guys. If it does, if it kills one or does damage, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, let's go. Phelos Intrepidus! Against Moros and... Right, technically it should be better, even though it's eight levels lower. Uh, does that have anything to go through everything? No! 
Okay, so I guess we're just gonna do this one. Wounding Devour! Wow, that took a long time for that animation, didn't it? Resisted the bleed. That's fine. Oh, he has Fierce Devour! So he'll kill one of us, but he doesn't get the bleed. He doesn't get a heal, but the bleed, yes! Right, what's the next one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I guess we do this one, I suppose. Oh, the kick as well. Brilliant. All right, what are you going to do? Challenging alert impact. As long as you don't gain anything back, I'll be happy. Okay, some damage. Bit worried that I don't have anything to really kill it with here. Um. Right, cooldown one, cooldown two. Oh, he has to go for pinning strike. Uh, that's actually really good. So we can just swap it. Unless he swaps himself. He may swap. Um, is he immune to stun? I was really hoping he would be immune to stun. Oh, okay. You swap anyway. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say, because then he would hit me and I'd hit, like, kill him with the counter. But, uh, that works too, I suppose. Oh, a nullify swap in. Oh, very good. Now, do I slow it? I don't think I slow it with this. Mm. Mm. Right, nullifying. Yep, that's fine. So, uh, he's faster as well. I think we've... Yeah, I think we got him. Yep, he may stun us. Oh, didn't. What was the chances of doing that? 50% chance. And my resistance is none. Oh, that was a really, uh, really friggin' lucky. We'll go with this one just to finish that guy off because he could do a lot of damage to me. There we go. It's good. I like this. Fun. Doing something different rather than taking on the same things over and over. Pyro. Okay. Do we have... Oh, invincibility. Oh, we good. Oh, we good. I don't care. You're dead. With the counter and that... Easy peasy. <laughs> I'm just so good at the game. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, I found, like, I think these were fan-made, but there were skins for... Because, you know, we get skins in this game. But there were skins that you kind of want, and they were, like, Jurassic Park 3 fan-made skins. So you had, um, you had, like, the feathered male raptor. You had the, fe like, well, not feathered. Feathered female raptor. Um, but... I of course. I don't know if they're gonna really get made, but they looked so good. Now, for a second, I thought, oh, are these coming for the 30th anniversary? Probably, probably not. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe they will. I don't think so. Okay. This, this is where our journey ends. Um, yeah, that Allo, Allo Sino is a counter for the Anklo. This thing has its own decelerating counter. Um, I don't, like, frogs? <laughs> Frog? I mean, if you had this thing at level 30, maybe it would be really good. We could try the Urla Dominus. I was really hoping that we would have came across that situation where we could have healed everything. But maybe that's safe for the second last two? I don't know if any of these are really good against... Right, the Allo Sino. Um, we have to go for this, because otherwise we're dead. Um, I don't think he can go through. Well, that's me told. Uh, and that is that is game uh, right there. Um, I was really hoping that Urla Dominus would be able to pull through and win that one. But uh, no. I feel like that they keep their own health, though. Um, but... <sighs> He's got his own priority. I think it's a stun. Yeah, it's a stun, but even still... Oh, he did go for it. Even still, I survive this. I I go for a heal. He's still going to do 3,280. Um, I, I just have to do damage. That That's literally... I can't forfeit it. I've got to do as much damage to it as possible. There it is. I think he's critted like every time so far. Um, go for this guy, the Anklo Moloch, I guess, just to try and do some damage. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, they swap. I just needed below half health. 
if we can do this one, this is probably going to be the last one we're going to be able to do. We've just lost Erda Dominus, and that was... That's a major loss. I don't think there's a way to get it back. Even... You can't even pay with bucks. Um, we could do that. We do go first, though. I don't think I can get my damn... Oh, I can't get my speed reduced. Okay, but am I invincible? No, I'm not. Okay, so the vulnerability comes through. He still got that aloe, though. I need to be in a situation where I can kill it in one hit. So I need my Anklos looks out when that thing comes in. Um, am I able? Is it stunnable? Right, okay. Let's go for that. Is it invincibility or is it shield? I feel like it's probably just shield. Oh, it, oh it's invincible. That's great. Yes. Okay, come on. It might swap now. It's below half health. Oh. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> I forgot that it has a heal. Whoops. Uh, I'm still invincible for this turn. Oh, one more turn after. That's good. That's good. Um, I guess I think if I swap in Anglo's looks now, it gets automatic invincibility. So maybe that's the best idea is just to do a bunch of damage now. Get Anklos looks in. Get the counter off. Uh, just so this guy doesn't take... Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the damage. Um, and here we come. Hopefully get the stun as well. Get our shield up, I think. Okay, we're invincible for how many turns? Right, next turn as well. Okay. You can't reduce my speed. But the cap here it comes. This is going to do a lot of damage. Um, oh, I am slower. Okay, this is really good. Um... Right, okay, it swaps anyway. Right, because the PC is stupid and it keeps on swapping, I may win this one, just. Okay, okay. Right, you're worrisome. You're very worrisome. Um, or not! Or not. As long as I can reduce... Oh, this is it. Right, right, okay. I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Okay, but this is still good. Wait, can we use this guy? Tularanosaurus is actually really good for this situation. Yeah, lesser heal. Okay, okay. But then you're going to have to do some damage here. But you can't because I'm invincible. All right, in comes that hit. Worst case, I get no crits. Um, I think I've got my priority now. Either way, I think I can kill Allosinosaurus. In one hit. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Get out. Get out of it. Do I ever swap in with this guy? Oh, swap in stun. Okay. That's it, though. Uh, it, like, you've done... MVP is this guy right here. Sun Gaia. Um, I think it comes in and it can do its greater heal. It might do it. Wow. Okay, worst case scenario. We just lost to Earl of Dominus and Tura Moloch. Oh. Oh no. Hey, we got level 22 though. <laughs> now on to Arena 8. Is it still threes? Oh, but we get to see a level 29 with some boosts on. What am I supposed to... What? Like, this thing? With its... With its sheltering impact, it does damage, it cleanses, it heals. Berserk, resilient. I mean, apart from... Okay, does anything... Okay, okay, apart from the scorpion, nothing can go through shield. Alright. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Sun go... Oh, yeah! Togo Togosties, yeah, you have... You're really good at shielding. And you've got your own counter. It's not a good counter. But it is something. Brontotherium! We should put Brontotherium in here just to take some damage. Uh, and deal some damage. Same time. Yeah, you know what? He's probably going to do more damage than that thing. Yeah, Brontotherium. Do what you got to do. In fact, we could probably start with Brontotherium. Do one attack. 
Oh, the music stopped. Oh, I, lo I love when the music stopped. Brilliant. Okay, so it's oh, there it is, Ceratosaurus. Uh, we'll go for this. Lacerate. Okay. And I'm not immune to that at all. That's going to do 25% of my damage. He has a headbutt on a swap in. Oh, no, it's a counter, not a swap in. He increased his armor and his attack. It's not good. Um, okay. Oh, wait, he stops you from swapping. My guy's dead. I think, I think with, with a priority prowl, though, you are guaranteed a reduction on the damage, though. Heavy strike. It went straight through. It went straight through. Twice I do, like, a shielding thing. And the game goes, no. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's it. That's game. Well, that's as far as... Oh, intimidate. I mean, you do whatever you want, dude. Maybe I can survive this. You your attack has increased like crazy amount. You've got so much armor. I don't think I could do anything against that. Uh, you have a really good counter as well. It gives you more attack. Best case scenario, I, I, I just try and get up my invincibility. That's it. Boom. Okay, he's definitely dead. That's good, I think, unless it has Lacerate again. Uh, and then I might die before it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, we can level 29 Ceratosaurus. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Got the crit. And the perfect counter for me comes in now as well. Oh, isn't that just amazing? Uh, well, I think I'm stunned because I'm not... I don't... I've got no resistance to that. He nullifies, bleeds, stuns. Yeah. It's a perfect counter for Compsoraptor. It's a perfect counter for me as well. And... Oh my god, what hell? <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you for allowing me this um, chance to not escape and just to bleed out. So... Oh, wait! <gasps> I can actually get out! I can survive! What hell? <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, that is amazing. Um, but actually, all he needs to do is just kill one so I can keep Anklos Lux in the fight as long as just this guy dies. I could swap him back in right now. Um, but there, there, is, there is no hope. There, there is no hope. Um, I mean, I get speed? Increase speed by how much? 30%. Oh, actually, maybe maybe that's that's what I should do. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was good. Okay, the option to swap into Angles Lux is still there. I am speedy now. I am 137. I can't stun you. Um, <laughs> there's nothing we dare can do. I can I can do a tiny bit of damage. I could go for shield. <laughs> My options are really running out at this point. Yeah, like I said, really running out at this point. He, I, I can do a counter damage to him, but then, guess what? I, uh, I, he heals from it, so it's like I didn't do anything at all. Why is this so terrible? It, oh, because there's thirty percent armor. Oh no! Oh God! Yeah, well. We knew how this was going to end, didn't we? Yeah, the count of 1,400. Did they check this? Did they, did they see if, you know, challenging all of these creatures one after another was even possible with the roster they give you? Because for me, I mean, if I click on one, creature is knocked out. I mean, what what, what are my options here? Ceratosaurus into a level 22. Ceratosaurus. Is it much better? I mean, it's one level higher. You know, there's going to be someone who's going to get this max level, get some crazy mods on it, and is it's, it's going to be, like, it's going to be completely epic. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just want to showcase, well, the new event, the new things. Of course, Ceratosaurus, we haven't really showcased, but, I mean, we've seen it at level 29, and it's formidable with that counter. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye